Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. All right, guys, now we're making Zero Ways Mascara, which is really easy. So I'm going to show you what I have. I have my empty tube, which I can re-clean, and cleanse and reuse whenever I want. Um, I have activated charcoal, which is really, really dark and fascinating to me. Um, this is really hard to see, but I have activated charcoal here. I'm going to keep the top up. I have bentonite clay. All right. Um, I have some utensils to use for turning it and um, blending it or combining it. I have measuring cups or spoons. I have coconut oil. Coconut oil will be like the base that helps it give that creamy consistency. And then I have castor oil. I'm going to drop a little bit of that in it to hopefully get some mini Mouse uh, eyelashes because castor oil helps to um, increase growth, hair growth. So I'm hoping that it'll give me fuller eyelashes. Alright, so I'm going to start with the teeth with the um, activated charcoal and I'm going to put a half of a teaspoon into the bowl. And I have a bowl here just to mix it before I actually put it inside of the tube, of course. So we're going to put it in there. Again, it's really dark. I'm actually surprised at how dark it is. Then I'm going to put probably, probably one eighth of a teaspoon. So half of this because this is a one fourth teaspoon um, deal of drop that in there. Always down for cheating the system. You can do it easier, faster, quicker. Why not? You know? So let's see. So you want to squeeze all that flax out of there. And I've used this cheesecloth a couple of times today, so I'm actually getting some seeds coming through the cheesecloth. Okay, ladies, just a word to the wise. You have to have warm oils. 
this. Your coconut oil has to be warm. Your um, castor oil has to be warmed up. I put a little bit of aloe vera juice, juicy gel inside of there too to help it. So now we have a, a creamy consistency. You see that? And now we're going to, we're ready to put it inside of the tube. Um, one of the reasons why you have to make sure that you have warm um, oils is because that's the only way you can really get it into the tube that way is if it's warm um, uh, or else it's not going to work. It's going to be too thick and it's, then it's not even going to mix up that well because I was finding that it wasn't really mixing that great beforehand. Yeah. 